guys, it's Hannah. So today I will be filming my record collection and I am so excited to do this for y'all. I filmed one of these for my channel in like 2015 and that video is long privated. So I wanted to film a new one so I could show you guys my records. But please take a minute to like and subscribe to this channel because it is so important and it helps me out so much so if you could just take a minute to subscribe hit that little bell icon we can get into this record collection so i actually stopped collecting records for like two years and i just started up again so i only have two new ones as in the past year but i am already looking into buying more i follow olivia renna on youtube and i always love watching her videos and she kind of got me like re-inspired into this and i just love records and i'm just i'm glad to be back at it i'm gonna be starting with the newest one i got and then go back to like 2015 or 16 when i started collecting so this is 21 pilots scaled and icy i've already shown this on my channel before so beautiful and I have the orange pressing which is so beautiful and I love it so much it's just a single pressing there's um, only one vinyl which I just noticed probably because scaled and icy is such a short record from them kind of one of my biggest pet peeves towards them at the current moment moving on I don't have trench because trench is very expensive right now I'll probably get trench when it is re-released but I did get the re-releasing of blurry face at Walmart it was only $30 and I was very excited and I don't think they ever did a pressing like this in the past either but it is bright red. It was for Healed by Ramen's, I think, 30th anniversary as a label. And it is so beautiful. There's actually two vinyls in here. And it's really cool because well, the other LP is in here, right here. And then behind that, you can actually take out the little colored portion and there's like two sheets it's got like a clear sheet and like a pattern sheet in the back and you can like flip it around and i know there's some like lore associated with that but i can't remember what it means so this next record i really don't know the order i got these in but i know for sure this was my next newest one i definitely got this my freshman year of college i'm a senior now this is hard to imagine the neighborhood ever changing oh wait no Sorry, correction, this is just self-titled, The Neighborhood, but if you know anything about The Neighborhood, they took two EPs, um, uh, what do they call them, uh, another thing, I can't remember what it's called, but they took four different pieces of, like, tracks, and they put it together and made hard to imagine the neighborhood ever changing so it started off with hard and then it was to imagine and then this which is the neighborhood and then the last ep was ever changing that all together is so beautiful but i remember when this came out i used to binge it in my car driving to school at the time because i used to commute to a different college and i just needed this so i ended up getting it and let me tell you this is the neighborhood's best album you cannot convince me otherwise and it's so beautiful there's picture of jesse on the back and all of the like text and font is so cool and it's just a black vinyl classic black i understand why they did black for this i wonder when they re-released it for the whole full lp if it was in color because when they released hard to imagine the neighborhood ever changing this cover but in color and then here's the inside it's literally so beautiful i love when i get vinyls just because sometimes they are just so beautifully done and the neighborhood really did a good job on this one next we have bony bear really this is 22 a million uh it doesn't say I haven't listened to much Bon Iver in years now. I need to look this up. Yep, yeah, 22 a million. <laughs> I knew I knew the name of this, but I got this in 2018 as well. I was a very big Bon Iver fan. He is from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, which is a place I'm very familiar with. I used to go to show choir competitions there, and it just comes with two vinyls. I need to get like the clear vinyl holders. Here's that. It's like a little yin and yang. And then the inside is so cool. I don't know who made this, but they did a really good job. There's like a whole thank you note in there, which is really cute. And then the next record I have is so beautiful. I love Odessa. They are seriously incredible. This on vinyl is life-changing. This is A Moment Apart by Odessa. I actually got to see them live on this tour. Oh my goodness what's going on in here 
I'm missing a vinyl for this. This is no good. So apparently I'm missing a vinyl for this and I used to have my record collection with my boyfriend at his house. So I have a feeling it got misplaced while it was there and I'm going to call him after I film this because it might be with his vinyls, which would be weird, but it could be. Do I even, I don't even have the one I like. Ugh. Dang it, I'm just gonna have to rebuy this if I can't find it, but it's a beautiful white vinyl like not white clear it's just i love it the opening track into the second track on vinyl is life-changing it's amazing next we have the naked and the famous or the naked and famous i always say and the but i think it's just naked and famous this is also a band i haven't listened to in years but i still really appreciate their work simple forms is this album i've seen them twice on tour quite good first concert i ever went to alone then this is the inside here's the inside it's got that side as well and this has higher the water beneath you my energy last forever losing control black side laid low the runners falling and rotten i really do like this um album by them very underrated and i think that's why i got it on vinyl next we have one of my old favorite bands edward sharp and the magnetic zeros which holds a very special place in my heart here is the front it says edward sharp and then magnetic zeros and here's the back it's all the people in the band and edward sharp is a very large band if you did not know. Next we have Passion Pit. I believe this is Kindred. I am, I need to look this up. I've met Passion Pit. He is amazing, Michael. Hello, I love you. I used to be like literally his biggest fan. Yep, this is Kindred. This comes with a lot of album artwork of the family members and when I was in high school, I took it out of this vinyl and I hung it up on my walls and it's still up on my walls at home. Here's the front, here's the back. Beautiful, beautiful album artwork. And then the vinyl is a clear vinyl with the sunset. And on the other side, it just says Columbia. I also have this on CD. I have a signed CD by him that I got for free when I saw him live. Next, we have Juno soundtrack on vinyl. One of my favorite YouTubers back in the day had this. Her name is Kaylee. And I was also very obsessed with Juno, one of my favorite movies of all time. And I just really wanted this on vinyl. It just has like the classic Juno logo go on both sides this album like has a bunch of really quirky music from the movie and it just feels so nice and amazing and this movie is just 10 out of 10 my favorite of all time my boyfriend got me juno merch for christmas so next we have fox they were a local band that broke up in 2015 that i was really obsessed with they were from madison wisconsin and they formed in their band class and their main front man Monica is now doing stuff with a different band. I have not listened to her new stuff because when they broke up, I was really heartbroken and on their like final ever show, I cried and cried and cried and I was like, dad, you have to take me, you have to take me. He took me and during the show, she like made a remark about how they were like, this was their last show and the keyboard player was like, it doesn't have to be and I was like, ooh, T. But still this is a beautiful 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 album you should listen to it it's phox fox I believe they only have one record they're long broken up i've seen them twice on tour they actually opened up for edward sharp and that's how i first heard of them a clear vinyl we love a good clear vinyl same on both sides it's so good if you listen to this my favorite songs are leisure 1936 evil kingfisher and i like shrinking violets and noble heart oh so good i Listen, Linda, why did they have to break up? Next, we have Lord Pure Heroin. This is not my favorite Lord record, but I did get this around like 2015. So Melodrama was not out then, but I need to get Melodrama on vinyl because that masterpiece just deserves a place. I also, for some odd reason, like Melodrama and my 19 and 20 year old self align very closely. It was a big record for me during that time. And then on the inside, there's a quote, wait till you're announced we've not lost all of our graces which is from one of her songs kind of looks like the starbucks logo if i'm not gonna lie here it is just a normal black vinyl and it comes with this book which i believe is probably just a lyric book oh it's got photos of her in it and lyrics and i forgot what's her name mia no her name is not mia she's got like a very average name and it always freaks me out. Her, her name's Mia. No, it's not. Ugh, I don't know. 
I do love Lord. Uh, not that thrilled about her newest album, but I'm sure if I listened to it some more, I would love it. I do love Stone to the Nail Salon. Wrote a whole 10 page paper about it for a class. Next we have FKA Twigs. I bought this around the time when she was engaged to Edward Cullen, or oh, sorry, Robert Patterson. This is beautiful and especially on vinyl, so good. I just love this. It's just blue and black. So beautiful, a little creepy, a little honestly creepy, but like in a cute and quirky way. I don't know why I bought this. I think it's because the song uh, Two Weeks is just iconic and I really liked uh, Preface and Video Girl, so. Next, I have Sylvan Esso's self-titled album, Sylvan Esso. This was their first ever record and let me tell you, I was obsessed. This was my favorite album for literal years. Like, I was their biggest fan stalker, Stan. Like, I was their only Stan. And now they went on tour, and it was during my last ever homecoming for college, and I had a pick between going to see them for the fourth time or having my last ever homecoming college experience. So I didn't go, and I don't regret it because I didn't listen to their newest album, but like, I'll see them again. It's okay. But this is a great, just black on black vinyl. This whole masterpiece needs to be listened to in a row. So that's why I really wanted it on vinyl. It's really great. Some great songs off of it. It's literally everything, but my favorites are Play It Right, Could I Be, Wolf, HSKT. Oh, and I think their Coffee is like their biggest song ever that's on here. Troy Savan had Coffee in one of his playlists back in like 2015, and that's how I found them so thank you Troy also that is very weird so I know for a fact I have Troy Savan's Blue Neighborhood on vinyl but it is missing and it might have ended up in my boyfriend's record collection might have been stolen from me honestly I don't really care I have that one somewhere. Now getting into some older records that I own. Some were bought in net record stores some were given to me by my dad but they're all in sleeves so I have the Ramones, It's Alive. I do love the Ramones. I have a Ramones shirt that I've literally had since 2014 and I wear it all the time. Here it is, just a yellow and black vinyl. There's two pressings. And my dad got this back in like the 80s and he gave it to me in the 90s, I don't know when, sometime. Next, I have a Fleetwood Mac vinyl. This is Murridge, Murridge? I don't know how to pronounce that word. I was given this as a gift and it doesn't have like my favorite Fleetwood Mac songs on it, but that's okay. I really do like Gypsy. Oh, and Go Your Own Way. It's just black and white, classic. Ooh, these kind of smell. Next, I think I found this at Goodwill. It's Willie Nelson's Greatest Hits, King, literal King. Just a black and red vinyl, super cute. If I'm listening to country, it's gonna be him. And then last, I have this that my dad was like, you need to take this. You need this. This is the best vinyl ever. And it's X Live at the Whiskey A Go Go on the Fabulous Sunset Strip which is so cool that it's a live performance back from the Whiskey A Go Go. And part of what drew me to this was uh, the drawings on the back of the bandmates. And it kind of looks like Napoleon Dynamite style drawing or like Beavis and Butthead. And I low-key love it. It's just black and red. That is my last vinyl and I don't know what happened with those two vinyls, but hopefully they will be returned to me or found in the next month because that's really sad. Hope you guys have a great day. Please like and subscribe and tell me some of your favorite vinyls in the comments. Bye!